Nice. Yeah. I've not heard that. So we were. I was briefly mentioning it. Uh, I have not. I have not uh, paid that much attention to Flight of the Concords. Like I know a bit here and a bit there, but I was never like super into them. Yeah, I I enjoyed the show. It definitely wasn't anything that like inspired uh, me to like fandom, as with Tenacious D. <laughs> there are a lot of similarities between them. Yeah. I think there there are a handful of things Tenacious B, D kind of inspired. Where there was just, it was such an original thing that it was easy to lift from. Like, in, in my mind, The Darkness, the band yes, The Darkness, yeah, yeah. is just some of the weaker elements of Tenacious D. A little bit. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. Like, so, someone went like, okay, like, little little retro, let's bring the, like, metal tropes back. Yeah. And they kind of stopped there. <laughs> like, they, they still had some funny songs. Yeah. But the charm of Tenacious D is utterly absent in The Darkness. Like, they're just, there's no personality yeah. You know, and, and I think that was maybe the thing that the darkness really missed that was appealing about Tenacious D was that like those characters yeah. in the song narratives the are, are what yeah. like people connect with. The and the darkness was just like a, a fairly faithful recreation of old metal sounds. Yeah, which I, I still quite enjoy the darkness. Yeah. But There's, yeah, it doesn't the hits were real good. What's that? Their hits were real good. Yeah, their hits were really really phenomenal. Oh. Um but yeah, they don't have it's they're doing uh, a bit for the music's sake, yeah, whereas yeah. Tenacious D seems to be having, like, a full-blown, yeah. like, opera about the band. Right, right. <laughs> so. I also feel like both uh, Tenacious D and The Darkness, like, take the music really seriously and just kind of have some fun on top of the seriousness. Uh-huh. And I, I feel like The Darkness just has, like, the same thing that I feel like happens with a lot of British wit where it's a little too subtle yeah. <laughs> for my taste. You okay, oh, baby? My contact is bothering me. Oh, no. But... Should we take a break? Deal with it? I think I got it. Okay. I think. Okay. Uh, right. In any case, I know when we when you were putting your part of the list together, I know you had discussed putting uh, their French song on there, yeah. which absolutely <laughs> blows me up. What's it called? Fou de Fafa. <laughs> it's so good. Baguette. <laughs> yeah. That's a real line. A song about French stuff. I can't, I'm trying to think of some of the actual lyrics, and that because it's just yeah. saying words that are either associated with Fr- like yeah. France or French, mm-hmm. or or like w- <laughs> French words that everybody knows, yeah. like baguette <laughs> or croissant. That was that was the contender. It really just because I knew I would be listening to all this with you. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, okay, Kim, Kim speaks pr- pretty good French. It would, it would be fun to just include this yeah. just to watch her eyes roll. For no, that's that, that's that stuff may, absolutely blows me up. Food of Fafa. Food of Fafa. <laughs> Look it up. It's hilarious. Yep. The music video for Food of Fafa yeah. is quality. They're like red striped shirts. and Yeah, no, they have like their black and white stripes and like their berets on yeah, and yeah. like they're biking yeah. everywhere bicycling everything's with like baguettes. like in soft focus it's <laughs> no it's great it's fantastic <laughs> heavily uh, yeah. heavily making fun of the french it's brilliant yeah, they could fly the concords had just enough of their own thing that like they still hold a, a place in, in my memory that i'm very fond of them yes no they're and like, good comedians very good comedians mm. Yeah, was it Jermaine Clement? Uh-huh. Yeah, he's he's still at the top of my, like, funny guy who was, like, still working. Mm. Mm. You know, anytime I see him, I'm like, oh, Jermaine yeah. Clements is in it? I'm I, in, I'm watching it. I seem it. to remember uh, the, the other guy, Brent's uh, credits being very interesting, too. I think he's done, like, less in front of the camera and more behind. I, I would have to look it up again. But I remember, like, looking him up to be like, what happened to the Flight of the Concords? And being like, oh, damn, like, they're doing <laughs> fine. Yeah, they're no, just they're doing no, they're very okay. different stuff. Yeah, recent we, we just watched uh, Legion. Jermaine Clements yeah. is in Legion, yeah. and uh, that's really he's quite good in that. Mm. And he's uh, oh, what is that movie he's in with Sam Rockwell, which has some of the funniest Sam Rockwell stuff I've ever seen. Gentleman Broncos. Okay. He's in Gentleman Broncos. He plays a like a really cheesy sci-fi author. Okay. It's fantastic. Have you seen that? I don't think I have. Oh, I know what we're doing later. Right. We're going to eat vegetarian chili and watch Gentleman Broncos. And you might throw up when a python shits on this guy's <laughs> shirt, but it's really, it's everything is worth it. Right. Oh, I can't believe you haven't seen that. We got to watch Gentleman Broncos. All right. Well, let's move this along so we can get around to it. Oh. What's, what's up next? Is it that time? Yeah. What? No, it's only 3.30.
Okay. Anyway, you're making it seem like it's dinner time. I'm like, oh God. We we are we are really lingering on. Uh, on what? Dicks on the dance floor. What, what's Phil's up? trying to push what's us up? forward. Um, I was introduced to this guy just a couple years ago. I'd never. I think I had I had heard one of his songs before, but I wasn't super like aware of him. Um, and then I heard this song, and it has uh, some of my favorite lines in in comedy songs ever. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is Jonathan Coulton with Skull Crusher Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> 